so hey what up uh this is gonna be a two to three part video so i should just check out the next video but this will be on um in this video right here i'll be quoting a couple of scriptures giving a few uh etymology word definitions and at the source outlook on the words also now we'll be putting um um I'm going to go ahead and just hop straight into this. So this is 2 Samuel chapter 8, verse 1. After that, this came to pass that David smote the Philistines and subdued them. And David took Methagamah out of the hand of the Philistines and brought gifts. And he smote Moab and measured them with a line, casting them down to the ground. Even with two lines measured, he put... Uh, to put to death and one with a full line to keep alive so what David did was smote these people the whole nations he subdued the nation the Philistines and kept one side for his mercy side and one side that he was going to put to death and made them sleeves and so the Moabites became David's servants so there it go right there and brought gifts David smote also Hadadazer the son of Reho, king of Zobah, as he went to recover his border at the river of the Euphrates. And David took from him a thousand chariots and seven hundred horsemen and twenty thousand footmen, his footmen. And David hold all the chariot horses, but reserved of them for an hundred chariots. Okay. So what we're going to do is go to psalm chapter 47 i'm gonna go ahead and read the whole chapter for us to the chief musician a song for the sons of korah O clap your hands all you people shout unto god with the voice of triumph for the lord most high is terrible he is a great king over all the earth he shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet he shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loves, Selah. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises unto our king, sing praises. Is this video? Okay. Uh, verse 7, for God is the king of all the earth, sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. Okay. So that was Psalms chapter 47. So let's go over here to, I believe this is as. I'm not saying Isaiah. This is uh, Genesis. Okay, okay. Genesis chapter 23, I believe. 28. Genesis chapter 28. I'm in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And God blesses them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it master the earth or the landscape and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so keep genesis 1 chapter 28 in mind I'm gonna keep that down what i'm gonna do should i read this whole no I believe I had a excuse me right quick okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read from first Chronicles chapter 17 uh, verse Seven. I'm gonna start from there. Now, therefore, 
Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to start at verse 6. No, hold on. I think I should go ahead and read this whole thing. Nah, I'm going to go ahead and start at verse 6 because it's important. I'm going to start at verse 4. Go and tell David, my servant, thus saith the Lord, thou shalt build me an house to dwell in. For I have not dwelt in an house since the day that I brought up Israel unto this day. I have gone from tent to tent and from house and from one tabernacle to another. Trip, whatsoever I have walked with all Israel, spake I a word to any of the judges of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people, saying, why have ye not built me an house of cedar? I should just check out a brother. Teach me to be priestly. You got the whole cedar information I suggest you dig into. But verse 7. Now therefore thus shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, even from the following the sheep that thou should have been ruler over my people Israel. And I have been with thee whithersoever thou hast walked and have cut off all thy enemies before thee and have made thee a name like the name of the great men that are in the earth. Also, I will ordain a place for my people Israel and will plant them and they shall dwell in their place and shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them anymore as at the beginning. So trip. And since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, moreover, I will subdue all thy enemies. Furthermore, I will tell thee that the Lord will build thee a house, the houses of cedar. So check this out. And it shall come to pass when thy days be expired and thou must go to be with thy fathers that I will raise up thy seed after thee which shall be of thy sons and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build me a house of cedar, of course, and I will establish his throne forever. Okay. Just so you know that. First Chronicles chapter 17. So I might have to read this whole Isaiah, which I'm going to do. Hopefully you stick with me in this video. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the etymology for this next video. So hopefully you just stick with me through these scriptures because this, these scriptures right here a link into something else I'm bringing out. Hopefully you check out the next video with these etymology words that I'm bringing out. And there will be a part three, and I suggest you check that out also. But I'm going to go ahead and read Isaiah chapter 49. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of thy mother, hath he made mention of my name. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword, and a shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft, and his quiver hath he hid me, and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain, yet surely my judgment is with the Lord, and my work with my God. This is why I do so many videos that I can whether I'm working or not, which is on and off with me right now. I'm about to get back into my lawnmower uh, business. But that's here there. Um, uh, why I put in so much footwork? And I tell everybody, man. Anybody I run across, I be stopping people I don't even know. And I've always been that type of person to just meet people. You know what I'm saying? And conversate, try not to throw myself on them too much because I am impulsive. I am impulsive. But let me continue. Uh, and now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be 
my strength. It's why I said Hashai, chosen people. The one, the God of one choice to be favored of God, the, a long and desire for one God, basically. But let's continue. Uh, chapter six, and he said, "It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth." Thus saith the Lord, O Redeemer of Israel, and his Holy One to him whom man despiseth, to, and, okay, to whom who man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of ruler, kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship, because of the Lord that is faithful, and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. One desire, favorite people. But, uh, yeah, these people are going to be, we're in the light to the Gentiles after they are subdued. That's why I say watch this video, the next video, and the one after if you're sticking with me. Hopefully this video won't be too long. Um, all right. Thus saith the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee. And I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth to cause to inherit the desolate heritage, heritages. That thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness, show thyself. They shall feed in their ways and their pastors shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he hath ha, have mercy on them, shall lead them, even by the springs of the water shall he guide them. So he's saying, basically, go into these rural nations, country nations, like little side, little side nations that you might see ducked off in the cut, like the people of Papua New Guinea. He's saying, civilize the people, a ruler to subdue the whole earth. That's what he's saying, civilized people. But uh, let me continue. Now I will make all my mountains a way, and my highway shall be exalted. Behold, these shall come from far. So he's saying, civilize a nation, man. He's saying, build a nation. He's saying, the desolate places basically cultivate the land. Conquer, man. The laws of Moses, the laws that is said that Jesus only took away this, a law of sacrifice or the Messiah or this Jesus of Nazareth and the laws of Adam are no more are no different it's been the same from the beginning to the end that's crazy man but let me continue um, behold okay Behold, these shall come from far and low, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinai. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains, for the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. So this is subduing the people, and the people that he's conquered having mercy on them, for them to serve us. But, okay, let's continue. Verse 14. But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her suckling child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget, yet yeah, I will not forget thee. So he's saying, Before a woman hate her child, which is in the nature of the, the cracker, we can't lie, but not in the nature of a woman, barely. Unless she drugged up, messed up life, unless the world just totally broken her. Although our roses have been defiled. And they smell like boo, boo, boo. Yeah, roses friendly. But let's continue. Verse 16. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of thy hand. He written us in the palm of his hand. He got us, man. 
thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste, thy destroyers, and they that made thee way shall go forth of thee. Lift up thy eyes round about, and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee as I live, saith the Lord. Thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all, as with an ornament, and bind them on thee as a bride doth. Ooh, we. For thy waste and thy desolate places and thy, the land of thy destruction shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants. And they shall, and they that swallow thee up shall be far away. He's going to send them, he's going to make them, put them through flight, what he's saying. Let's continue. The children which thou shalt have after thou hast lost the other shall say again in thine ears, the place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. Okay, we hobos, we homeless, we vagabonds. What are you saying? Then shalt thou say in thy heart, who hath begotten me thee, seeing I have lost my children and am desolate and captive and removing to and fro, and who have brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. These had they been. Where had they been? Thus saith the Lord, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles. So I'm going to tell you what this is. Um, refugees, the people that are, the strangers that are scattered from their own lands, this is a refugee situation. Hopefully you still stick with me, let's continue. And set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons and their arms, and thy daughters and shall be carried upon their shoulders, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers, they shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. So this, this goes on with the people that you slaughter. The people on the left hand side and the right hand side. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive deliver? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. You see what I'm saying? This is a vengeance chapter. So what I'm going to do is hopefully check out the next video. Out.